Hi, it's Evanago. So I'm doing this makeup look today and this is a first impressions uh, makeup tutorial. So everything I'm wearing on my face right now is something I have never tried before. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see the look. So this is what it looks like. So I did some really dark smoky eyes together with a lot of eyeliner and some uh, different kind of lashes. And then I did a very natural face and I used no powders on my face whatsoever. So that's very new for me. So I mean I'm a huge powder girl, I love powder, I use it every single day. Um, and I don't think I will just switch over anytime soon. But I think it's important to try new things and you know get out of your comfort zone. So um, that's why I did no powders today. So yeah, this is the look. If you like it, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to watch in high quality so you can really see what's going on. So yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. So um, here comes the tutorial. Okay, so as my primer, I'm going to try this Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Primer. So it looks like this, it's just a white primer. And I'm using a mattifying primer today because I'm not going to wear any powder. So this primer feels nice. Um, yeah. So as kind of my foundation, I'm going to use this CC Cream from Born Pretty Store. It's such a tiny little tube, so hopefully the color matches me. So I'm going to apply this all over. So I'm going ahead and blending the CC cream out with my sponge. So it is pretty light coverage, but it is of course a CC cream. So that's what you can expect from that. So I quite like the texture of this um, CC cream because it's not like overly dewy, which I find uh, I find that to be the case with a lot of other CC and BB creams. I'm going to try and cover, you know, my acne scars up some more with a second coat of foundation. So let's see if it can build up. And when you're trying to build up um, any kind of foundation product, you want to stipple the product on very lightly to get the most coverage. So it actually builds up pretty nicely. But of course, I mean, there are limits to how much coverage you can get out of a CC cream. So yeah, I actually like this very much. So now I'm going to try the Gerard um, BB Plus Illumination Cream. Okay, so I just pumped it out on the back of my hand and it's very, like, golden. So I'm going to use this kind of at the places I would normally highlight. I'm going to go ahead and blend that out with my sponge again. It is really extremely like shimmery. I don't know how I like it. <laughs> I kind of feel like if you were to wear this all over, like all over your face like a BB cream, you would look kind of like a crazy person. But I mean it does give a nice highlighted effect. Okay so now I'm going to try out my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the color classic ivory. So I'm going to use it underneath my eyes. So it seems pretty thick um, as I'm applying it on my face. But of course everybody has been talking about this so I had to give it a go. And I'm also going to try and conceal some spots. It has very nice coverage. Damn girl. Okay so I basically applied that all over my acne scars and acne and all that good stuff because it seems to have nice coverage. And of course, you can't forget to blend out your under eye concealer. So I'm also going to apply it on my eyelids. And this is going to be the base for our eyeshadows. And I heard that this um, concealer is pretty crease proof. So I hope that's true because I'm not going to set it with powder. So, so far I really like these products. So I'm just going to remove the foundation off of my lips. 
So I'm going to contour with this e.l.f. all over co um, cover stick. And this is in the color Spice. So it's darker than my skin tone. As you can see right here. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it underneath my cheekbones. It feels so strange because I rarely ever cream contour. But anyways, I'm going to blend that out with my sponge. So just blend away. And of course, I'm going to um, contour around my temples and around the hairline. And again, blend that out. I'm also going to contour my nose. And it actually blends really easily. And then lastly, I'm going to contour, um, you know, underneath my jaw. And again, go ahead and blend it out. So I actually really like this. Um, I think it looks very nice and very natural. So then for cream blush, I'm going to try out this e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip. This is in the color Pink Lemonade. So I'm going to apply it right here. And I go ahead and blend it out. So I actually think that is so pretty. So finally, my highlight is going to be another e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip. This color is Spotlight. So I'm going to apply this on the tops of my cheekbones and blend it out with my sponge and this is very shimmery I'm also going to apply it on my cupid's bow so in real life I don't think I look too too oily but um, from what I can see on my viewfinder I think I'm looking a little more oily um, on camera and I also think that you can see some creases um, underneath my eyes and on my eyelids from the concealer so it's not a hundred 100% uh, crease proof, but that's okay. I just go in and blend it again And then I'm going to take these elf shiny erasers. They're basically blotting papers So this is what they look like. So I'm just going to blot my t-zone And now we are actually done with the face so let's move on to eyebrows so I'm going to use my Essence How To Make Brows Wow um, makeup kit and it comes with um, three eyebrow colors, a highlighter, it's a pair of tweezers and a little brush. And since my hair is like a medium color, I'm going to use this medium color. <laughs> but of course first I just quickly brush through my eyebrows with my spoolie and then I go ahead and start filling them in. So these are the eyebrows. Now as a colorful base on my eyes, I'm going to use the color Tattoo from uh, Maybelline. This is in the color Pomegranate Punk. And I'm going to apply this with my finger, just on my eyelid. So I apply it on the lid up to the brow, not up to the brow, up to the crease. And I apply it underneath my eyes as well. And actually I'm going to zoom you guys in. So the same on the other eye. And right now it's going to look a little strange, but I swear once we get all the eyeshadows and eyeliner and lashes on, it's going to look fine. So I'm going to take my Lorac Pro palette, and I'm going to use this beautiful kind of rusty color called Garnet. And I'm using a flat brush from Urban Decay to pack this color on with. And I just use packing motions. And then I'm going to take my Naked palette, and I'm going to take the color Naked. And this is going to be our transition color. So I'm going to apply this right beneath the brow bone. And then I'm going to take my e.l.f. eyeshadow quad in the color Butternut. And I'm going to take the darkest brown color. And this color is going between the lid color and the transition color. And this color is really pigmented. Then I'm going to take the Essence All About Deep Sea eyeshadow palette. And with my brush from the Naked palette, I'm going to take this color. And this is going to be our brow bone highlight. And then I'm going to take my Essence All About Sunrise palette. And I'm going to take the lightest color. And I'm going to apply this right underneath the arch of my eyebrow. So just right here. This color is very shimmery, so I don't want to apply it all over. And then I just go back in and blend. 
Then I'm going to take this Essence All About Romance palette and with my Ego Tools brush I'm going to take this shimmery white color and this is going to be the inner corner highlight. And I'm using this white color because the eye is very dark so I want some light in here. Now I'm going to take my Galaxy Chic palette from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to take the color Aphrodite and this is going in the outer corner. And then finally I'm going to use the Nude Jude palette from The Bomb and I'm going to take the color Stubborn and this is going right in the center of my eyelid to give a highlighting effect. Now I'm using the same color we used on the eyelid and I'm just applying this along the lower lashes and I'm going to smoke it out pretty far down and I'm just going to blend it out and by the way you guys when I'm all done with my eyes I am going to touch up my concealer underneath my eyes because I did get some fallout so don't worry about it. So once I have all my eyeshadows on, I'm going to go in with this eyeliner from Born Pretty Store. And it's a purple, dark purple color. So I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes. And I'm also bringing this a little bit onto my lower lash line. So now I have my purple eyeliner on, so I'm going to go in with my MAC Fluid Line in Black Track. And I'm just going to apply this right at the base of the lashes, just to make sure it's nice and dark. And so far I love this stuff, it's so easy to use. So then I'm going to take my Estee Lauder um, Pure Color Eyeliner, and I'm using this on the top and the bottom waterlines. And I'm also going to smudge this onto my lower lash line. And I'm just grabbing a Q-tip and smoking that out. And this is a cold eyeliner, so it's really soft and easy to um, work with. So I'm going to use this mascara, the Colossal. And of course I'm going to apply this on top and bottom. And by the way, I really love those eyeliners that I used. So I don't really know what I think about this mascara, I think it's very wet, so it smears a lot, so yeah, so far I'm not really a fan. But anywho, these are the lashes I'm going to be applying, these are from Born Pretty Store, and I'm going to apply them with this new lash applicator, also from Born Pretty Store, as well as my new duo eyelash adhesive. So this is what the lashes looks like on. Um, the lash band is very thick and it feels quite uncomfortable. But I do like the like flared out effect that it gives. So these lashes are also pretty difficult to place because the lash band is so thick. Now that I'm done with um, my eyes I'm going to go back to the face because as you guys can probably see I have gotten quite oily so I'm going to take another of these little elf blooding papers and I'm going to go back into my concealer and just re um, conceal my under eyes and I use my tiny sponge again And I go back in and smoke out um, the eyeshadows and the other eye. So the first lipstick I'm going to use is Bear It All from Wet n Wild. It's a dark nude color and I'm going to apply this on the outside part of my lips. And then I'm going to grab MAC Blankety lipstick. And this is a lighter nude and it's going in the center. 
And I'm also going to use my um, Estee Lauder Pure Color Lipstick. This is in the color Vanilla Truffle. And this is going right over. I love these lipsticks. They're all so beautiful. And I'm patting it out with my finger. And then I'm going to take this palette. This is the 32 Lip Palette from T Mart. And I'm going to take this color up here and apply it right in the center just to add a little shimmer. And I think that's actually all. Okay, so this is the finished result. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. So take care and bye bye.